Let's talk about FOBs. FOB stands for foam on beer. So a foam on beer detector is something that is designed to save the beer that's normally lost during keg change. So all three of these FOBs do pretty much the same thing. They're just different versions of the same device. So there's a certain amount of beer that does go down the drain whenever you change a keg. So you can expect to lose about as much beer as the line itself contains in a draft system. So if you have very long draft lines and you have, for example, five pints of beer sitting in the line at any given time, you're going to dump about five pints of beer down the drain when you change the keg. So that, that can add up pretty quickly. So these are designed to save that. So for each keg that's on tap, you have one of these devices mounted on the wall right near the keg. And so the beer line from the keg will come up and in this instance, the beer line will come up and enter in the side, and then there's another beer line coming off the bottom that goes off to the faucet. And during service, when you're pouring beer, this whole chamber is full of beer, and this ball that's inside will float on top of the beer. So when this is full and you're pouring, the ball is floating on top. When the keg empties, the line empties up to the fob, the chamber empties and then the ball falls down to the bottom and it seals on a gasket sitting at the bottom and it makes a seal and it doesn't allow any gas to fill up the line. So it keeps the line packed with beer. So when the bartender's pouring and the fob ball drops and makes a seal, the beer will just stop pouring. So the bartender knows what that is. They, stop, they close the faucet, they come to the back and they untap the empty keg tap the new keg, and then they fill the beer line and the chamber by, in this instance, with this particular fob, by pressing this valve down on top. So this vents it, and by holding that down, that'll allow beer to fill the beer line and to fill the chamber, and then the ball will float back up to the top. This would normally have a drain, so any beer that makes it through there isn't spraying all over the cooler. Uh, so this allows you to then go back up front and continue to pour beer uh, without any waste at all. Uh, so these things can uh, save you quite a bit of money, but they're really only for long draw systems. Uh, they can get uh, a little dirtier than a regular draft line, and they're a little more difficult to clean, so they require more maintenance. So there's definitely a, an increased possibility of some quality issues if they're not maintained properly. So we really only recommend these for very long systems.